hello fellow food lovers welcome back to the channel so this week i'm going to show you how i made this very easy and delicious shrimp fried rice stay tuned so here i have some shrimp that is already deveined and washed and as you can see i'm adding some bedia seasoning to the shrimp and also i'm adding some black pepper you can add any seasoning of your choice and you can add the desired amount to your lightness now i'm ensuring to combine the seasoning into the shrimp after which i will set aside to marinade to a hot pan with about a tablespoon of cooking oil you're going to add your marinade shrimp and after adding your shrimp you're going to relax them in the pan and cook until pink on both sides So after three minutes, the shrimp is now ready. As you can see, they have already turned pink and this is what we want. So we're going to add them back to the container that they were once in. To the same pan that the shrimp was cooked in, you're going to add another tablespoon of cooking oil. And when the oil is hot, you're going to add your finely chopped garlic, then your green onions, followed by some red sweet peppers. And at this point in time, if you have any other ingredient that you'd like to add, you can add it. And then we're going to saute our seasoning until soft before we add in our remaining ingredient. Now that our chopped seasoning is sauteed to our desired lightness, we're going to add in some pre-cooked rice. And after adding in our pre-cooked rice, we're going to ensure that we combine the seasoning into the rice thoroughly. And we want to do this on very low flames as we do not want our rice to start getting burned before we start adding the remaining ingredients. Now we're going to add in our mixed vegetables. And we're going to also combine this into the rice. Now we're going to add back our shrimp to the rice. And after adding in the shrimp, we're going to add 2 tablespoons of dark soya sauce, followed by a tablespoon of oyster sauce. And now we're going to add a teaspoon of sesame oil and after which we're going to ensure that we combine everything into the rice properly. We want to do this until all the white rice actually turns brown or have the color of the soya sauce and the oyster sauce. And also, you do not have to limit your dish to the amount of ingredient or the same ingredient that I have used in this video. You can also go ahead and add other ingredient that will actually add additional flavor and taste to your dish. Here, I am just continuing the process of combining the rice and everything together. And after, what I'll do is to leave for about two minutes so that the rice can get the flavor from all the ingredient that was once placed in the dish. And after which, I'll show you what the finished product is looking like. So after the three minutes, this is what our shrimp fried rice is looking like. As you can see, it looks very delicious, tasty, and has a very great eye appeal. So thank you for watching my video this week again, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye!